In this video for positive maths, we're going to look at problem solving for strand 5 functions and calculus. So we're going to look at 2013 Project Maths Paper 1, question 8. So we'll read through it first. The speed at which a raindrop falls increases until a maximum speed called its terminal velocity is reached. The raindrop then continues to fall at this terminal velocity. The speed s meters it falls is given by the s of t is equal to 6t plus 0.3t squared minus 0.01t cubed, where t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 10. Then it falls at a constant speed, k by t minus 10, when t is greater than 10. Where t is time in seconds from the distance the raindrop begins to fall and k is a constant. Okay, so a few things we just want to note here before we begin problem solving. We just want to note that our distance is s in terms of t. Okay, our time is in seconds. So just not confusing our s for distance and our s for seconds. Okay, so part A. How far has this raindrop fallen after 10 seconds? So what they really want us to find here is find the distance s when t is equal to 10. Okay, so the first thing we're going to write is our formula for our distance. So 6t plus 0.3t squared minus 0.01t cubed. So we're looking for s when t is equal to 10. So everywhere we have t, we're substituting in 10. Okay, when we simplify this, we're going to get 80 meters. So our distance is 80 meters. Part B. After how many seconds is the raindrop falling at a speed of 8.23 meters per second? Okay, so they're asking us to find t when the speed is equal to 8.25 meters per second. Okay, so something we need to address here. We are given the distance s in terms of t. Okay, we need to be familiar with the fact that velocity or speed is going to be ds dt and also, which we'll need later, acceleration is the second derivative, so d squared s over dt squared. So that's really important to keep in mind. Okay, so we want to find t when the speed is equal to 8.25. So we need to find the speed. So that means we need to find ds dt. Okay, so again we're going to write out a formula for distance. Now we need to find ds dt. So it's going to be equal to 6 plus 0 0.6t minus 0 0.03t squared. So now we have our formula for speed. So the speed is equal to 6 plus 0 0.6t minus 0 0.03t squared. So we need to find t when this formula is equal to 8.25. Okay, so what we should be noticing here now really is that we have a quadratic equation. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this and solve for t. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply every term by 100. So this will just make it a little bit more straightforward to solve.
I'm now going to divide by 3. And then solve for t. So I factorize, I get t minus 5, t minus 15 equals 0. So that means my t is equal to 5, or t is equal to 15. So one thing we have to notice is this formula is really when t is in between 0 and 10. So therefore, our t is equal to 5 seconds. OK, in part C. The acceleration of the raindrop is decreasing for the first 10 seconds of its fall. Find the value of t for which the acceleration is 0 0.006 meters per second squared. OK, so really what we're looking for, once again, is to find t when the acceleration, so that's d squared s over dt squared, is equal to 0 0.006 meters per second squared. OK, so first thing we need to do is find d squared s over dt squared. So from part b, we know that ds dt is equal to 6 plus 0 0.6t minus 0 0.03t squared. So then our d squared s over dt squared is going to be equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.6t. OK, so we're looking for t when d squared s over dt squared is equal to 0 0.006. So we let the equation we now have for the acceleration be equal to 0 0.006 and we solve for t. So we find that t is equal to 9.9 .9 seconds. Part D. The raindrop falls vertically from a height of 620 meters. How long will it take the raindrop to fall to ground level? OK, so we're going to kind of do this question in two different parts. We already know from part A that it takes the raindrop 10 seconds to fall 80 meters. That's from part A. OK, so that means we need to find how long it takes to fall the remaining 540 meters. OK, so also we want to keep in mind that our distance speed and time formula. So we're looking for how long, so that means we're looking for the time. And we know the time is equal to distance over speed. Now, we know the distance is 540 meters. We don't know the speed. So in order to find the time, we need to find the speed first. OK, so from a previous question, we know that the speed is equal to ds dt, which is equal to 6 plus 0 0.6t minus 0 0.03t squared. So we want to find the speed when the time is 10 seconds. We want to find the speed here. So we're going to fill in 10 for t. So our speed is going to be equal to 6 plus 0 0.6 by 10 minus 0 0.03 10 squared. And when we simplify, we will find that the speed is 9 meters per second. Now we use the speed to find the time. So our time is equal to our distance, which is 540, over our speed, which is 9. So we will find the time is equal to 60 seconds. OK. So the total time then 
is going to be equal to 60 plus 10, so we have 70 seconds. Okay, and the last part of the question. So part E. A raindrop increases in size as it falls. The volume of a spherical raindrop increases at a rate of 6 cubic millimeters per second. Find the rate at which the radius of a raindrop is increasing when the radius is 1.5 millimeters. Okay, so we have a lot of information there. We want to break this down and again try and simplify it by writing it mathematically. So, we're looking for the rate at which the radius of the raindrop is increasing. So that is the rate of change of the radius. So that is d or dt. We want to find d or dt when the radius is equal to 1.5 millimeters. So that's what we're looking for. Now, let's look at the other information we're given. So the volume of a spherical drop increases at a rate of 6 cubic millimeters per second. So they're, they're telling us the rate of change of the volume with respect to time is equal to 6 millimeters cubed per second. Okay, so we have something that we're looking for, something that we have. So there's going to be a missing piece in the middle. So let me just clarify. dv dt is what we have. D or DT is what we're looking for. So we will need to multiply it by DV, D or in order to find it. Okay, so DV, DT is what we're given. D or DT is what we're looking for. So we have a missing piece, DV, D or. So we need to think, do we have an equation related to the question that really identifies volume and radius. Okay, so it's a spherical raindrop. So we're going to write down the equation to find the volume of a sphere. So V is equal to 4 over 3 pi or cubed. Now we have an equation V in terms of or. So we can now find dV d or. So dv d or is going to be equal to 4 pi or squared. Okay, so now we just fill in each different part. So dv dt is equal to 6. This is going to be equal to d or dt, which we're looking for, by dv d or, which is 4 pi or squared. So therefore, 6 divided by 4 pi or squared is equal to d or dt. Okay, so now we have to think that do we have values for pi and for or? Yes. So we're filling in 6 over 4 by 3.142 by or, which is 1.5 squared. So this will give us 6 over 28.278 is equal to d or dt. So we will find 0 0.2122 is equal to d or dt. For more information, visit www.positivemaths.ie. You can email us at info.positivemaths.ie and find us on Facebook and Twitter.